god, it's it's time, it's time again. Big Daddy is back, but this time he's bigger. And he, he might have skipped a few classes, cause he's a bit slower. But believe me, the size, the size makes up for it. Meet the Alpha Cool Core 140 at 3200 RPM, the fastest 140 mm fan we have ever tested. This thing is so crazy fast, it blows up to 153.9 CFM at up to 6.99 mm of H2O and it yells, it yells loud. But before we get to that, let's take a closer look at the benchmark. Allowing this thing to do clearly non-consensual stuff to my benchmark machine revealed that my benchmark machine feels violated. But while it feels that way, it was sitting at a cool 36.9 degrees C above ambient, so not everything was bad. Looking at the big picture, it's kinda unfortunate to be honest. Don't get me wrong, this is an excellent result, but it's just... It just moved a single place from the 2500 RPM version and thus the Noctia A14 Industrial 3000 is still standing as the best 140mm fan I have ever tested. So unfortunate, but just it, it's just how it is. And with these two fans it becomes quite apparent as to why. Design-wise, these two have a lot in common. Both share the same 7-wing design, both are spinning at crazy fast speed. The only difference lies with what Noxia does to every single of their fan. It's the numerous mini optimization that you can see. A notch here, an indentation there, some rubber on the corners, a bit more bent wings, slightly rounded off edges, some of those airflow paths. No matter where you look, Noxia optimizes the crap out of their fans. The Core series, on the other hand, that's a completely different story. This is a design that works plus speed. Nothing more. But hey, for the optimized fan, I can get like three or four of those core fans. So that's a trade-off that I really would keep in mind. But back to the fan. Now onto the noise stuff. Comparing all 140mm core fans, we have a real shit show. The 3200 RPM model now performs slightly worse than the 2500 RPM model at max speed, that becomes a bit better after reaching core 120 at 4000, just to end up at the last 140mm core fan again. But hey, at least it is still better than a P12 at the very very end. Though. This noise to performance ratio is where you actually want to be. But take all of these measurements with a grain of salt because, you know, a margin of error and the dB meter that we are using is not that accurate in the end. But you can still see a very clear line and that is that the core fans are just not very much acoustically optimized. Not even in the slightest. As an interesting reference, here we have every alpha cool core fan on a single graph and an Arctic P12, just to show what a good noise to performance ratio actually should look like. Taking margin of error into account, the 120mm and 140mm lineup do make some sense, and both groups of fans do follow somewhat the same pattern. Before we get to the point why I am particularly disappointed with this one fan, let's finish up the usual stuff. Just like every other core fan, 
beautiful all white packaging with a mandatory sticker because otherwise I, I would not be able to keep them apart. For the fans, same thing, I always need to read the back of it. it they all look identical. Inside the fan, no screws. The fan itself is, again, like the slower one, structurally it's okay, P12 level, but nothing exceptional. Design-wise, it's still core. Nothing fancy, no extra features, you will find no eye candy stuff on this here. Inside, dual ball bearing, of course. If the 2500 RPM didn't make it, this one won't either. That being said, quality control. Mm, it's, it's not good today. I kinda gave Alpha Cool a light pass on the oomph part that I needed to give every, every fan that I had from them. Because, you know, they, I needed to press them in so that they stopped making that weird ass noise. And I don't even really know why it did not bother me as much as it probably should have. Probably because the fan just costs almost nothing. But can somebody tell me why my fan is rusting? Why the hell is the shell of the fan's bearing rusting? How the hell does this even happen? This is not supposed to happen. It, it shouldn't happen. I did check every other fan or core fan we have and yes, one of, out of 24, and now 23, uh, is not that bad of a ratio, but still, no, this shouldn't be and Alpha Cool needs to investigate this because it's not like something was put together in the wrong way or not pushed in together. Enough. At, at this point, this had to come into contact with water. Either the storage location was just too moist, but then why was the metal not properly coated? And if the whole thing just touched water, then we, then we have a huge problem on the production line. No matter what happened here, this needs to be investigated and, and they need to find out how something like this can happen. Now, leaving that huge issue inside a small box and pretending like it's not there, this is still a monster of a fan. Really far away from a good noise to performance ratio, it's, it's really a lot, but it has headroom. It's clearly not on a Nokia NFA14 industrial level of brutality, but it's still very, very good. But let's get to my favorite section, price. $8.99. It still feels like a freaking joke. No matter how I look at it, it's, it's $8.99 is a joke. For an A14 Industrial, I can get three or four of these. It's, it's what the hell. But okay, this should be it for Alpha Cool and their Core 140 at 3200 RPM. And with that, every core fan that is out there right now. Looking back at the whole lineup, it's definitely needed on the market. Just fans that can perform brutally with disregard to everything, because yes, Nokia's are fine and all, but sometimes you just you just don't need that. Servers don't need that. I, I would like to have Nokia's in my storage server, but if I need to spec it out with, I don't know, six or 12 fans and it's in another room, why would I spend the extra 100 or 200 bucks just to have it be a bit quieter if, if I just can't hear it anyway? I would just try to go for the best in class if I could, sure I would, but if I can't, well, then now we have a pretty good alternative. On a side note, we also have a Discord server, so if you want to join, the link is down below. And of course, we still have channel membership. So if you're looking for a good way to sell your soul for an poop emoji, that's a pretty good damn way to go. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to get psychological assistance because, yeah, Big, big Daddy did damage. Anyway, thank you for watching and if you want to continue, have a look at our take on the P12 Max. It's still one of the best noise to performance ratios out there. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.